Hey, this is a quick demo of Type Rocket for WordPress. If you have any kind of workflow around page builders, custom fields, or post types, then you've probably fought with plug and bloat and a cluttered WordPress admin. You need a development tool that lets you cut this clutter with clean code. And that's what Type Rocket is. It's a framework that lets you get organized and rapidly develop within the WordPress ecosystem. Now, Type Rocket can do a lot, so let me show you some of the best parts. First, we can take a look at the Type Rocket page builder and some of its code. Then we will move on to custom fields, post types, taxonomies, meta boxes, and then wrap up with routes and the MVC design pattern. Here's a typical home page. It has different sections. We have a banner, some testimonials, and some features. We can edit those sections independently using the page builder. You can fully customize these components. You can move them around. The testimonials will look better at the bottom. You can add new ones. Maybe we want to add some icons. We can remove them, click into them, edit them. And here for testimonials, I have a repeater field so I can add multiple quotes with groups of fields. I can remove those repeater fields, contract the existing ones, rearrange them. And then when everything's how I want it, I can update the page. If I go and view it, we'll see now that the features are at the top and the testimonials are at the very bottom. This looks exactly how I want it to. Here's the back end code for our testimonials component. First, I can set the headline, which will be used on the front end to populate the headline of the component itself and also the hover state name. Then I can go and begin to add my custom field. Here's the headline field, which can be seen here on the admin and here in the code on line three. I also have my repeater field where I can group a number of fields together to create one field. I even add some of the fields on a single row. Let's take a look at a creating a custom post type. Here I have a book post type with a custom icon in the menu, custom placeholder text, enter book title here, and a custom field at the bottom of the page for ISBN, as well as attaching a taxonomy to it. I can look at that taxonomy under publishers, and I'll notice that I also have a custom field underneath that taxonomy or logo. If I go over to the code, I'll see that I can create the custom post type in just one line of code. I can create the book and then I can apply an icon to it using the set icon method and then chain that to the set title placeholder to set the title placeholder text. Then I can set the editor form and that lets me add custom fields underneath the editor of the page. And then from here, I can create a form and then echo out the ISBN field that I want. For the taxonomy, it's as simple as creating a taxonomy using the TR taxonomy method that Type Rocket provides and then setting that value to publisher. I then can set the main form and apply a field just like I did for the post type, but this time I'm using an image. Then finally on line 20, I can go and apply the book to the publisher. You can also add custom fields to existing post types like the blog section. Here I have two fields inside of a meta box, learn and quick description. In the code, I create the meta box using the TR meta box method. I then call it content details. I assign that to a box variable, and then I have access to the meta box object. From there, I can add it to a post type like post, set the context to side, and then even add custom fields using the set callback function, which can be used to add content inside of the meta box. You can also use the MVC design pattern with routes to create custom front end views and store data in the database in custom tables. Here I have a route called slash contact. It loads up this contact form. If I look at the WordPress admin, you'll see that I do not have a contact page within the pages section. So to create a custom route, I just need to write a little bit of code. In my routes file on line 10, I create a route that responds to get requests at the slash contact path. If that path is received on a get request, it's going to look for the add method on the contact controller. And this is where MVC comes into play. If I go into the contact controller, I'll see here that I have this add method. It returns a view of contacts.add. I can open up that view file. And if I look at it, we'll see here is the contact form. I have all my custom fields and it all works nicely even on the front end of the site. Let's fill out the contact form on the front end and see what happens. Here, I'll use this person's name. I could add friends using a repeater field if I wanted. I'm not going to do that. And add a message. I can then send that and see that it sends me to a thanks page. It says the contact was created. 
When I click the Send button on the Slash Contact page, it sent a post request on the Slash Contact path. This lets me know that the Contact or Create method on the Contact controller was activated. If I go down, I can see what happens under Create. Here, I load a model called a Contact. And this model is wired up to the Contacts database table. So here I have WP Contacts, and I can see that I have some submissions. Back in the controller, now that I have my model, I can look and set the specific values when I'm creating it. And this is what happened when I submitted the post. I saved the name and the message to the contact and then saved that contact to the database. I let myself know that the contact was created. And then if I'm not on the WordPress admin, I redirect to the thank you path here, slash contact slash thank you. And if I look back at the routes here, I can see that I have a route responding to get request to contact slash thanks. If I look at the thanks method on the contact controller, which is at the bottom, I'll see here that I load another view. And that's how easy it is to create custom routes using the MVC pattern to build out custom tables in a database. However, you can manage all of this in the WordPress admin as well. And here's how we do that. If I scroll to the bottom of the page, here I'll see that I activated the type rocket on the front end, so that allowed me to do everything, but I also created these resource pages, and this allows me to manage contacts on the back end of WordPress. Here on the back end of WordPress, we'll see that I have this submissions page. Here I can see all the contacts that have been submitted. I can edit them, add new ones, go back to the submissions, and even delete them. And this allows me to manage my database that's custom for this setup. And that's just a glimpse of what you can do with Type Rocket. You can do so much more, from middleware to theme options, it doesn't matter. So what are you waiting for? Go over to the documentation, install Type Rocket, and see what it can do for you.